2022 is almost over and 2023 is right around the corner with everybody and now is busy making their career plans for the next year. This year was a very you know interesting year for the tech industry and 2023 might not be any different. The massive layoffs everywhere in the tech industry, they made people realize that just depending on your nine to five job, that might be too dangerous as your job can go at any time and you need to, need to have you know separate niches and separate side hustles to protect you. Now, with so many options available, you know, for doing side hustles, I wanted to make this video to talk about something which I think a lot of people should always try, which is technical writing or tech writing, which is one of the best and most lucrative side hustles you can start in 2023. So this is what I want to talk about, how to become a tech writer in tech or cyber security, you know, use that knowledge to make some money. So what exactly is a tech writer? Well, a tech writer is somebody who can professionally write about technology related topics, you know, like blog posts, manuals, product documentation. Basically, you should be able to write about tech topics or products in a fun and easy way to understand without boring the you know reader. Ask yourself this, like, are you a technology or a cyber security professional? Like, do you have subject matter expertise? And can you write around 800 or 1000 words without putting people to sleep? If you answered yes, then this is for you. Okay, you need to know tech and you need to know writing. Most people know one, but not the other, which is why this is such a good skill to have. So before we start, into this video guys welcome to my channel the cloud security guy if you're new here my name is tamur and we talk about on a weekly basis about things like cyber security career advice cloud security artificial intelligence okay and like i said i want to talk about how to become a tech writer as a side hustle please do like and subscribe to this channel uh, if you haven't already that will really help the channel to grow and okay let's talk about it so why become a tech writer right well here are a couple of good reasons which i wanted to talk about first of all it's very easy it's possibly the easiest side hustle to start. Unlike like YouTube, YouTube or Udemy, which requires you to like, you know, speak, video creation, editing, all those things. All technical writing needs you to do is sit in front of a computer and start writing. And other thing is it, 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 it makes you an expert in your field, right? It makes you in, in the, it establishes your brand in the industry as an expert. Like take me for example, I'm not an expert on artificial intelligence and machine learning people but all over the world they reach out to me for help on this topic why because i write about this topic a lot okay the other thing it provides you job opportunities because in a way if you're just waiting around for jobs to come to you it won't come but if you have tech writer and your writing is out there on linkedin or medium it's all over the internet and one of them people could be a future manager who reaches out to you and lastly which is very important it can make you money now very important this should not be your starting goal as it, as it takes time to build up your portfolio but yeah once you have an established portfolio and a steady stream of clients, you can see the like you can start making money. OK, I cannot share my earnings from my customers, but I just wanted to show you like even for, you can say from uh, medium. I made like one hundred dollars last month just from one article. OK, this is one article I wrote on my medium profile and it, it earned me around one hundred dollars. You can see now imagine if you had nine or ten articles like this earning you money and this is my earning for the last month. So you can see just by writing technical articles and being a tech writer just for medium alone and not even from other stuff like freelancing i've earned around for like 450 dollars easily so you can understand if you keep at it if you keep working on it and if you like uh, build up your profile uh, how lucrative it can be okay now this is where unfortunately a lot of people start to have doubts they think they can't do it and they start making excuses. I've seen a lot of times and this is what I wanted to talk about even before you start. So a lot of people make excuses, right? The first excuse is I'm not a writer. Well, okay, I wasn't a writer also. The only thing that makes you a writer is that you start writing, okay? There's no excuse. You can start writing today. There's absolutely nothing stopping you. So you don't have, you're not gonna get a certificate from a university saying you're a writer, okay? You can start writing anytime. And the other excuse is too hard. Well, yeah, it is hard. Technical writing is hard. In fact, any writing is hard at the beginning, but it's just like a muscle, right? The more you exercise it, the, the stronger it will get. It will be tough in the beginning when you're not used to doing it, but be consistent about it and keep writing and you will see just how uh, like easy it becomes over time. Okay. The other excuse is my English is not too good. Okay. People are embarrassed. They feel the English isn't that good and like uh, it, it won't be good enough for writing. Well, I could have accepted this excuse a few years back, but nowadays, with tools like Grammarly and so many other tools present, there really is no excuse. No one is expecting you to be like completely perfect in the writing 
But come on, you have so many tools like Grammarly, which can easily so solve any grammatical errors or spelling errors. Just make use of them, and you'll see like def you'll definitely see a huge, huge improvement in your writing. Okay. And the other excuses people are may will make fun of me. Now there will always be people who will make fun about you. Anybody who tries to do something new, there will be people who will be insecure and try to bring them down. In my experience, people will continue to make fun of you until you start making money, and then they will be chasing you and trying to find out how you did it. So please ignore those people and you focus on your own development. So I hope you understood now and I've convinced you how awesome this can be. So how to go about it? Well, below is like I'm going to talk about my simple three step process. In my humble opinion, this was the most simplest process which you can start. And I learned it after making a lot of mistakes in my like uh, being a tech writing career. OK, first one I want you to do is start writing on Medium. Medium is awesome platform right now in, and going into the future also. I don't think there is any website which is makes it so easy to write and put your work out in front of millions and millions of people. Okay. Medium has a massive, massive base of readers, visitors who keep reading it. And so just choose a topic you're good at. It can be cloud computing, cybersecurity, networking, and start writing on it. Okay. Block it in your calendar that once a week, you're going to sit down and you're going to write and be consistent. Okay. So in this stage, just your goal is to become comfortable with writing. Find what you're good at, find your niche and start a, uh, making a basic portfolio. I have a course on Medium also. If you're interested, I'll just put it in the comment section. You can take a look at it, okay? But like I said, just start writing on Medium. Don't get uh, uh, doubtful. Don't be worried about it. Just start. Okay, so once you have like 10, 15 articles published on Medium, now the second thing is I want you to get published in a proper magazine, you know? Uh, like uh, what am I talking about here? You know, they like magazines like ISACA Journal, CIO Magazine, it's time to step it up. So you, you really need to build up your writing portfolio. Reach out to these publications and get your work published. So there are great tech journals and publications that are happy to publish your work. Okay. Even on Medium, they have things like Geek Culture, Towards AI. All of them can like, uh, what do you call it? They can publish your work. Okay. So you need to get try and get your work published in two to three of these publications. What will that do? That will greatly enhance your portfolio and profile. Okay. And now we reach the step three. Okay. The step three is you start ghostwriting and freelancing at this time you'll have a like you've been published in a few magazines you will have a nice number of articles under your belt on medium and with professional publications you know like isaka so now you can get start getting monetized and make some money from your skills start you i want you to start creating profile on fiverr upwork if you have it already if you don't have it create one and if you have it create a gig on writing tech writing it will take some time to find customers but keep your profile updated and your prices low to get those initial customers and once you've established your profile there, you can think about raising prices. You know, you can even use LinkedIn. LinkedIn is like a great, it's like a gold mine for technical writers. And you can find no end of jobs with all sorts of criteria. You can start doing that also. Okay. So just remember two things you need. One is you need is a portfolio. If you want people to take you seriously and pay you good money, you need a portfolio. Okay. And you need patience. You have to play the long game and you will see a huge benefits going forward. Your work will compound over time. It will slowly build up. Okay. And you know, the demand for technical writers is not going to go down. There's simply not enough people with that expertise. So this is a great field to get into. And okay, I hope this was useful to you guys. And I hope I was able to show you why this is such a good field and you should take a look at it. Uh, please do like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, let me know in the comment section if you think other topics I could have covered. Thank you so much.